<laughs> all right so it's the next morning uh it's about well, it's a little bit after the afternoon it's like 11 o'clock and we're gonna head out it's probably gonna go to indy but it looks like <laughs> then i get all the boxes in one trip which that's usually kind of the case we usually one or two short but this time we have some merch fulfill it's going ups so we're gonna be a few short so we got two trips to the ups and one to the post office then we can leave two more now the, the, the weird part of this UPS, USP, UPS hub sometimes, some of the employees, I'm not gonna, you know, they're, they're usually all right, but sometimes they get in there and they're just kind of like, like we're standing there getting ready to push the cart. Cause sometimes they just have, they have this, have, have us push them in the back. It's kind of a small area in there and there's a lot of people, especially now that it's, you know, people are trying to ship packages and stuff. And so we're sitting there waiting to see where she wants us to, you know, set the cart. Cause it's gonna be in the way if we just set the cart. And she tells all the people behind us to, to go to go around us without us without asking us or saying it work because she was helping a customer and us uh, so we're kind of sitting there like oh well, what do you want us to put these and she kind of copped a little attitude about like you know we can put it wherever we want it still got to get weighed and checked in and all this but usually, usually they're all right but i'm just going to chalk it up to a little little holiday jitters for her so we still haven't made it back to the uh, ups yet because we stopped in here started to go to the post office first give a little bit of time to check in some of those packages but here's this little bolo for you guys, this thing here. You probably won't find it. I think they quit making it or like discontinued. It's a, I use the only at Walmart. They still do have them, some Walmarts, obviously, because we found some. But this thing right now, there was one FBA for 70, then there was merchants coming in at somewhere around 60, 60 to 72. So it's worth about 60 to 70 bucks if you can find it. Make sure the boxes are in good condition and they're not all banged up and all that, but. We just sold out of our last one merchant fulfilled. That's a little bit packed to the post office. As you can see, they're uh, putting a new roof on there. But actually, it wasn't too bad. They have a little like kiosk thing set up in the front. It's usually open up on weekends, and here during Christmas, they uh, have it open up all the time where you just drop off your prepaid packages before you go into the big double doors into the main post office. So, usually it goes pretty fast. On our way to Indianapolis, we got three stops. So I think you can see me. Uh, sun shot it in here. But uh, we got three stops. Just gonna, we got to stop at uh, New Egg's Warehouse, pick up something from New Egg we ordered for Will Call. Uh, go to Fry's Electronics and stop at a camera store to get the lens. But the thing is, one's in Fishers, Indiana, one's in Carmel, and one's in Indianapolis. But like all the towns, like they're they're like suburbs of Indianapolis, so they're all kind of close. I'm not sure how far away they are according to Google Maps, because uh, I, I didn't compare them, but they look somewhat similar. And I, right now we're just 90, what, 94 miles from Indy. And you can see it's it's still pretty cold outside. I think it got up to it's, it says it's five degrees right now. I think it hit up. I don't know, it's supposed to be like negative 20 or something, but it's not that anymore, but it's still pretty cool. Huh? After, oh, what did I do there? Nothing? Okay. So after uh, a bunch of roundabouts, a couple hours of driving, we made it to the camera store. Camera store is first because it's in Carmel, so it's first on the way. And I uh, did a little UE, and I guess, let's see if they have my lens. They should. I did call them, and they did uh, put it on hold for me. I didn't even have to pay any money. But apparently it's a pretty good camera store. They have a lot of lenses and stuff around. If they have this lens, a 1018 e-mount lens it's probably a pretty big camera store let's go ahead and see what she looks like in here before we uh <laughs> all right yeah it's not too bad oh there's santa claus looks like i guess they got it they gotta go in the back and get it though it's on hold All right, so I guess that was that simple. The weird part is a lot of these like little stores like these, um, especially like more mom and pop stores, our uh, cards don't get declined or like or, uh, for, for uh, fraud alerts. But you go to a Walmart or a Meyer that's you know out of state or a little further away and try to do like a two hour transaction, it'll get fraud alerted. But you come here and spend a thousand bucks on a lens. The lens was like what, like eight fifty or something like that. Oop. Don't want to break it. It's been, you know, 800 bucks. You swipe it and it goes right through without using a pin. It's real weird that way, but I guess there she is. I'll switch her out and uh, see how she looks. That's a new lens on there. It is a little bit bigger. It's bigger as in it's like it's like fatter, but it should be a little bit wider too. I mean, I'm not sure how all this works, but it should be a little bit wider. But uh, I don't know how it looks. It should, it should be a little bit clearer too. 
but it shouldn't be too big of a difference. But now that that's with, I think we're gonna go hit up Fisher's first. Fisher's is Fry's and get a center channel speaker that's hopefully in stock. We haven't had too good a luck with Fry's for some reason, though either the one in Downers Grove, Illinois, or the one here in Indianapolis. But I guess I'll see how it works out. Maybe we'll try it at a 14, because as of the, uh, the last shot, that was actually a pretty, <laughs> pretty wide shot. I guess it don't need to be that wide, but just trying to test it out here. But maybe we'll leave it at the uh, 14 millimeter. Maybe that's a good, 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 uh, good place to be at. All right, so we're just getting ready to turn into fries and uh, what Fishers now. So it's just our little Amazon. This is uh, it's the Monday, so it's like tomorrow, today, and tomorrow, maybe the last two days you can get before Christmas on um, Prime, and that's what the day we're having so far. We're not really sure when to start doing the whole repricing down to the bottom as far as selling out before Christmas because we also don't want to hang on to a lot of the toys. But we did lower some prices on some stuff, stuff, stuff we're not sure Continue of, we've kind of left. Well, that's where we're at so far, and it's only, what, what else is that, 320? So we still got, still got quite a bit of the day left. But I probably won't be filming in the fries, because they, 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 I don't know if you've ever been to a fries, but they do have, like, signs when you first walk in that says, like, no, no videos, no photos, like, keep all your photography equipment up, up in front. And, you know, that's, that, that's fine with us. It's, it's, it's right in front of us. I mean, we could... Up, lady. We could uh, just film, say we didn't see a sign or whatever, but we know they don't want us in there, they want you to film in there, and that's fine. We're choosing to go in there and buy this uh, speaker, so let's hope they have the speaker first of all. I think there's a pretty good chance they're going to have it, but I guess we'll find out here in about 20 30 minutes. Kind of a big shadow here, but they didn't actually end up having the speaker in black. And we looked, we, we looked online before they came, said it was in stock, didn't think nothing about it. Went and asked, like, no, we got done in black. We're like, well, it showed online, but we looked it up and it's not actually in stock. Same thing happened here with the, the bookshelf speakers we're getting. They were 30 bucks cheaper yesterday. We didn't buy them. We bought them at after midnight when the sale rolled over. We ended up getting 40 bucks less. I'll show you the ones that we ended up picking up. Is that guy? It matches all the other speakers we have. We're just moving around our living room and getting uh, surround sound set up. Oh, and they do price match at Amazon. We have price matched them on the uh, speaker wire. All right, so we're on our way to Newegg here, and we thought we, we'd just, you know, catch up with our truck here that's delivering our shipment up to Amazon. Just to see how he's doing, make sure he's obeying the, obeying the rules, he's gonna get there all, all safe and sound. But actually, no, it's the first, it's not the, I think it's the first Amazon truck we've seen. They do got uh, warehouses here in Indy, but we usually don't ship here unless it's oversized items. Most of our stuff goes to uh, Illinois, not to uh, Indianapolis. All right, suit A. Sweet, I didn't say that, sweet. Oh, will call sign right there. Oh, they make it so easy. They're like, hey, you want a will call? It's over here to the left. Big fancy building, though. Reserved for employee of the month. I don't know, I think I, think I should be in, the, be in the running on that one. Visitors that will call entrance. Guys, I'll go ahead and do a little little checky here to make sure they're uh, sure they're all right. Was, as you can see, the box was a little bit dented out there, but that should be fine because usually speakers come with like big, huge, uh, big foam sitting around it. But uh, I don't know. If, I don't think this whole building's uh, new egg, but as you can see, it goes all the way down there. It's huge. You have a little nice little lobby in there. They must film their YouTube videos here or something. Looks kind of like they do. Rubber. Alright, so we're at Costco, as you can see. You might be asking yourself why we're at Costco. No, we're not going to give away any Costco bolos. We're looking for a carpet. We're told they have or a big carpet for the living room, so we're moving around a little bit, put some surround sound in, and we're told they have some decent carpet that's kind of soft. I'm not sure about like indoor, outdoor carpet, stuff like that. But I guess we're looking at this guy here for 99 bucks. It's a little, uh, it's somewhat soft, I don't know. It feels a little hard. I'm not, we're not really, what a good carpet is or not, but we're gonna check out these ones, I guess, and see what we decide. Now we're trying to decide on what color. We got all these brown ones, but they got one of the uh, little black. Is that black or blue? Oops. Brown. Oh, lost your sign. Walk the sign. Let's go ahead and put that right back up there. 
All right, as I said, we're gonna stick with this uh, blue and blue and brown looking one. Well, they got that for 219, but it's like shag carpet. And they got a smaller one, and they got a microfiber one for 140. A little bit smaller, feels a little bit nicer, but we're not gonna be laying on it. We're just gonna be walking on it. The dogs are gonna be laying on it. They don't need nothing too fancy. Or we could just piece together a bunch of these mats for 30. They're 30 by 45, oh, is that inches? It's too small. Guys, we ended up getting that carpet, the uh, one I think we showed you the last one, the little blue and uh, blue and white one. They're trying to sell appliances as you're walking out the door. As always with Costco, they gotta check your receipt. You guys noticed, or I didn't film when I was outside, but turn it, it's, it's dark now. Uh, we made it to Fort Wayne, we're at a Costco in Fort Wayne. So we didn't make it home yet. We are still gonna stop at Toys R Us. Even though I said we wasn't gonna source any, but it's kind of hard not to source when you're out. It's somewhat addicting, but it's addicting to make the money, so. Same thing, I guess. Now we just gotta see if it's gonna fit, but it should. Usually, like I said, when we source, the truck's actually clean, so we haven't sourced yet. We did our best not to stop at least in Indy, but we're gonna have to stop at least at a Toys R Us to check it out. All right, a little update on the Amazon. We are in the uh, play school area. Scanning some stuff. I didn't really find too much. Lots of Amazon's in stock. We're not here to look up a lot of volume. We're just looking at some rare things. But you see, we're getting out almost seven grand already. Uh, we did end up repricing a few more things down to a little bit lower. Yeah, that's all right. All right, so we didn't end up buying anything. There were some few maybes. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. But we decided against it. Now it's time to get some food. We got 15 minutes before uh, Menards closes. We're in Menards, by the way, Menards. But we're here because we forgot banana clips. And they were, you know what? We didn't think that uh, they sold banana, banana plugs, I guess. They don't call them clips, banana plugs here. They got all kinds. They got like generic kind, generic. They got these. So on the website, those two packs there were only supposed to be like 280, something, just 349. Maybe they're on sale, maybe not. But uh, just ran into somebody I used to work with uh, when I was back in my factory job. Uh, good old Nick, Nick's his name. But I uh, told my channel, so if you're watching Nick, how's it going? But he works here. And uh, so we had 15 minutes, got out in about eight. I guess <laughs> we weren't out in eight minutes because we're gonna look for some screwdrivers because the banana plugs that we bought need some screwdrivers. I'm gonna go ahead and try these. I think we have like two or three of those are sitting around the house, but we don't know where we leave them or set them. So well, the next thing is also gonna be wire strippers. I think we still got uh, seven minutes before they close. We're gonna have to stay in here too long. We don't wanna be people holding everybody up when we leave, but we just need, need a few last minute things. We didn't know they closed at nine. We thought maybe they'd extended hours to like 10 or 11, but apparently not. This might be the end of this vlog or not. I don't know. I got to do a little bit of editing and see uh, see where the clips end up. Uh, we probably are going to end up moving this room around. We need to figure out where the couch is going to go. That's what we're measuring now. The surround speaker is going to go up on the wall. We need to figure out where the couch is. You can hear the dogs in the background. Where the couch is going to be moved to and where it's going to fit. And that's where we're going to move. So we're probably going to be working on that in the next couple hours. We'll see. Uh, I guess we'll see what I film. <laughs>